Hello, 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 and welcome to beautiful Florida. We are at Universal Studios, and guess what we're doing today? Mardi Gras! Hitting up that Mardi Gras. We're going to show you all the drinks that we could possibly get. We are here Monday through Friday, so you might see us in different outfits, different looks. It's going to be a good time, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully, uh, we can make it back to the hotel. are trying our first drink from the North Coast Brewing Company. Yes, this drink is called the Prankster. It's a Belgian golden ale. Sounded interesting, it looks delicious. So there were a couple of people have it when we were up there. So let's give it a try. Steph, take it away. Oh, I wanna see I wanna see your reaction first. Oh I I Well I could tell. I very when you see the eyebrows on Steph you know it's good. It's very you know good. It's good. Um, I want to try it. Wait, like. Oh, she's two handing it right now. I'm trying to like decide. I really feel like there's like a citrusy flavor to it. I can't make it out. <laughs> it's so good. All right, well, let me see. Let me see if I can do it. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> wow. I like, didn't tell you, but my eyebrows apparently told wow. you. Wow. It's very I do taste the. It's, like a, it's not a. I would say it's more of like an orangey. That's. What is orange? <laughs> this man is thirty, <laughs> and he doesn't know what an orange Listen, is. Listen, you can give me the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> this is our first day here. It's been like an hour and a half sleep between the car ride and travel on the plane. I could get a little past with that. <laughs> orange is a citrus, just like lemon. So this is our second drink at one of the stands, but before we give it a try, this is the Hazy Little Thing IPA. Huge can. I'm actually really surprised on how big these are. Wait, I wanted to show them drink sizes in comparison with the cell phone because I feel like that's the best way to show you. For this one, we'll do it for all of them. You can see the size, of which this is big. This one's big compared to what you get here. Yeah. Now, one thing we want to give you an update on. Guys, if you have been to Mardi Gras last year and you were able to get one of these passes, you can still use these passes. Now, there's no particular money value. So let's say you have five items left on this particular pass. You can get anything regardless of the price. If you get something that's $16 or you get something that's $8, it'll count as one item. If you have them, bring them to the park if you're going to be coming here. They can scan it at any booth and they'll be able to tell you exactly how many items you can get. And that goes for food or drink. One drawback though, because we just tried to use this pass with, this. to get these drinks, is that it doesn't work on canned items. We were going to use the pass on this drink because this drink in particular is $11. And some of the food items and other things are $5, $6. We're going to try the hazy little thing. Alright, let's see if it's a little hazy. Wow, wow, very flavorful. I'm actually really impressed with this. It's not like a, a bold IPA taste, but you get like a little bit of the tail end of it at the end. Very good, very delicious. It's definitely refreshing. It's not too hot out today. Um, strong recommend for me. I really need to know how to describe flavors better. Because <laughs> I'm like, it's good. <laughs> I give it a uh, five out of five. How you doing? How you doing? I'm gonna give it a three. How you doing? <laughs> we have our third drink, right, of the video. Yeah. We opted to get a refill in the souvenir cup. So the refills are eight. This one was eight dollars. Originally it would be twelve, but because we had this cup, it was eight. And this beer is what is it called? <laughs> it's Duclaw Sweet Baby Java. We're gonna put like, what's in each drink in the description below. Yeah. So definitely check that out if this is something that you're interested in. But this is a porter beer. Cheers, my love. All right. Salute. It's like, wow. Oh, I like, uh, I felt my eyebrows. And then mm -hmm. now that you pointed out, I feel them now. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is three out of five how you doings. I'm gonna go with four out of five how you doings. I like this better than the IPA. How would you describe this? I'm gonna say it's more of like a Guinnessy coffee a, taste. There is espresso in it, it said. 
That was one of the reasons why I wanted to try it. Here's for reference. You can see how much bigger the phone is than the cup. Like I can completely cover the cup with the, with the phone. And this is their 12 ounce souvenir cup, the color changing cup. So this is our... Yeah, yeah, so we got, this is a classic from last year, our fellow Traveling Cookies, if you can remember, I kind of botched the name of it on our very first video. You just botched it right now, <laughs> as we were walking up to get it. This is the, drumroll please, Goombe Smash. Not Goomba. Not, Not Goomba. Goomba. It's Goombe. <laughs> we had to get this one because we both really enjoyed it last year. I guess we'll see if it still tastes as good. It's a staple of New Orleans, I feel like. No, not New Orleans. Mar it's a staple of Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras and Universal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Salut. Oh, absolutely refreshing. Tastes a little bit of the rum, not too much. It's great pineapple juice to me, I feel like. Really? Yeah. Mm. With, um... Um, coconut flavor, like a uh, Malibu, Bay Breeze. Or like Sex on the Beach. Is that the same thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Two different names. Oh boy. Another recommend for us. I'm gonna give it five out of five. How you doing? I'm gonna go with uh, three out of five. I think it was higher last year. I don't. I'm not. I don't know. I don't think we rated it last year. No, not. I liked it more last year. Really? Not rating it. This year, I don't know. I like being able to taste the alcohol. Like, I don't drink alcohol. I don't like. You don't want to feel like you're drinking a high seat pouch? Right, right, right. Yes, that's exactly how I feel. Totally understandable. Mike liked this hazy little thing so much he got it again. But I wanted to try a different one, so I got the Neon Rainbows. It's another IPA. Let's give it a try. I like this one better than that one. What did I rate that one for? Yeah, I think like I four. I think like we need to do a scale of ten because like five out of five, it's like hard to really, you know. <sighs> I have no idea how to describe it, but good. Can I do like a four point five? Yeah, we could do that. Maybe, maybe I'll just a solid four. And for reference again, phone size, right? But you can see the difference. I have the Java Comet Margarita. Oh, I think this might be my favorite mixed drink so far. It tastes fruity. You can taste the tequila in it, I would say. It's really delicious and it's refreshing. So I had to try the margarita. Whoa. It's like a fruity, with a little hint of pineapple, but I like not overpowering with the tequila. So I would give this a strong recommend. I'm gonna get uh, three out of five how you don't. This is the Abita. We yeah. love Abita. Purple Haze. Yeah, Purple Haze. It's made by the company Abita, which is based out of New Orleans. Yes. There's no need to rate this because we love this so much that we actually had this as a drink at our wedding. Yes. It's a strong recommend. If you love beer like I do, get yourself an Abita. Cheers. Salut. So for our last drink of the week here, we stopped by Fat Tuesdays because you can't have a Mardi Gras celebration without going to Fat Tuesdays. And of course we got the extra shot. I have the margarita here. We have gotten this before. It's very good. Today's been the hottest day of the week. So to end it off with something frozen is just super refreshing. It's a hot day. It's a great way to end it. I got the eye candy because look at me. I just want to thank you guys so much for coming on this journey of trying out all the different drinks. If there's a drink that we've missed that you've tried, let us know. Give it a shout out. Uh, we would love to know what your guys' thoughts are. That's all we have for you guys for today. Until next time, I'm Mike. And I'm Stephanie. And we're the, the Traveling, Traveling Cookies. Cookies. Salute.